In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of feature definitions from a DGN lib and how to update existing elements if you make a change to that feature definition in the DGN lib. So if you take a look here in Project Explorer at my Civil Standards tab, you can see I'm, I'm in a blank DGN file. If we expand that, you can see in the active file for the feature definitions, I do not have any feature definitions in this active file itself. The feature definitions are going to be located in a DGN lib that I have attached. Actually, I have more than one, but the one that we're going to work with is this first one. And you can see if I drill down that I have one called Geom Centerline. So what I'm going to do is place some horizontal geometry and I'm going to assign that Geom Centerline feature definition to this geometry. So I'll place this and you can see when the horizontal geometry is placed it is given the feature definition of Geom Centerline. In addition, that particular feature definition is copied from the DGN lib into the active file. Now, if I were to go in and make changes to this feature definition in the active file, for example, I could go in and we're working in the plan section, you can see that for the symbology it's looking back at a native style. So if I change that native style to something different, say Geom Secondary, you can see that the feature itself is updated with the new feature definition properties. I could do other things like turn off auto annotate, now, when I go and attempt to place another horizontal geometry using that same feature definition, we'll give that a little bit different name, you can see when that gets placed, it's pulling the feature definition from the active file, not from the DGN lib. So what happens if I've changed this feature definition, but I want to revert back to my original feature definitions here in Geom Centerline for my next element. I actually have a couple of options here. Um, if I were to go down to this feature definition in the DG and Lib, right click and select Copy. I could come up here and paste this. So now you can see I have Geom Centerline and Geom Centerline 2. And you might want to rename this one since you've made some changes to Revised. And then you could also rename this one to the original name. So now I've got Geom Centerline Revised, and if you take a look at these, they have that feature definition. But I can still come back in and place a, another feature using the original Geom Centerline that I pulled in from the DGN Lib. You can see when I do that, this one will have the auto annotation turned on and will be using the native style of Geom Centerline, not the secondary that we used in this one. So that's one way to pull in that original feature definition so that you can use it on other items. Um, if you wanted to, let's, let's remove that now and I'll show something else. Okay, so when I remove that revised, you can see that these items here go back to having no feature definition because the feature definition that was assigned to them has been removed. 
So if we want to revert back to the original, you will have to go in individually and select that. and it will revert back to the original. So I did all this just to demonstrate the relationship between feature definitions in the DGNlib and how they are pulled into the active file. And once they're pulled into the active file, any of the settings uh, associated with the feature definition are pulled from the active file. They don't go back in and look at this DGNlib. So if you were to update your DGNlib or your uh, organization updated the DGNlib, you would need to pull that into your active file in order to reassign the uh, revised feature definition from the DGNlib.